So this video is going to be a little bit different than my normal videos because normally, honestly, my videos don't really cover, like, not dark topics, but, like, actually, like, current events going on in the world. I don't get into that stuff. But this was actually something that really upsets me and actually makes me angry. You can ask my roommates. They literally, I literally was just sitting out there researching this, just, like, sweating from anger. Like, that's how angry this makes me. So before I get into this, these are the facts that I have researched. Who knows if those pages were right because honestly the internet obviously is not a place of truth and you know, it's, it's a bunch of lies basically. So from my understanding and my research of the pages that I've read, these are the, these are the facts that I'm going to be giving to you because these are what I believe to be true. This video is obviously, if you couldn't tell by the title, about Notre Dame burning down. And basically, as of, I believe today, they have raised over a billion dollars to rebuild Notre Dame. I think that, first off, I think it's amazing that people are getting together and joining forces and really trying to fix, you know, this really beautiful place. I, I have nothing against, ju just as like a disclaimer thing, I have nothing against Notre Dame, I have nothing against France. I actually really love France. I, ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to go there, I've wanted to see the Eiffel Tower, I've wanted to see Notre Dame, I've wanted to see the Louvre. I literally used to have a poster in my room of the Eiffel Tower and a Lego set of the Eiffel Tower, like that's how much I love it. But like, there comes a point where I think people are being stupid um, by donating to fix it. But the thing is, people are donating such mass amounts of money to fix a building. They're literally donating millions and millions. And I think that's amazing that people are wanting to give, but you know how many other things there are that need that money more than a building? Okay, if you're gonna donate your money to buy f literally supplies to rebuild a building, that wasn't even that damaged, mind you. It wasn't like the entire building came crashing down and crumbling and burning. It was only a part of it. It wasn't even the whole thing. First off, so it's not even completely destroyed. I've seen videos of the inside. Most of it honestly looks fine. It just needs a little bit of a cleanup and maybe a few repairs. Where I have a problem with people donating to this is the fact that there are kids in Africa who do not have water that do not have food. There are over 16,300 animals on the endangered species list that are probably going to go extinct at some point that need our help and need money to get resources to save these animals. There is deforestation going on in, I believe, ev almost if not every country in the world. There's deforestation and they're cutting down trees and they're taking animals' habitats. We need money to be able to fund the people that are stopping that from happening. You don't even have to donate your time if you really don't want to. If you have the funds to donate over a million dollars to Notre Dame, but you can't support your own country that has homeless veterans, literally living on the streets, disabled veterans that cannot get health care. I, I have goosebumps right now. That's how passionate I am about this. Because that to me is absolutely disgusting. The fact that somebody could donate mass amounts of money to buy some bricks for a building, it makes me that angry. There are 34 countries that are literally starving, that need food. 34 countries. You know how many people live in those 34 countries? So another thing that you've probably heard of, it's Flint, Michigan. Flint, Michigan still does not have clean water. There was a news article that came out that the government granted them money, a, a pretty large sum of money. I believe it was over a hundred million dollars, but I believe it was some, somewhere in that ballpark to fix their water. The way the news spun this story 
was that this was new money coming in that they would be able to fix their water system. That was not new money. That was old money that the government had already started to give them. So that's not even new money that they can use. That's already money that's been used. So Flint still needs clean water. There are people there in Flint, Michigan who do not have clean water to use. And you're gonna donate money to fix a building and there are people that don't have clean water. There are people that don't have food to eat. There are people that are literally living on the streets of your own town. And you're gonna donate money to buy some bricks. Something else that a lot of people know about but don't think about, it's not in the news, it's not anywhere really on social media to be found at all, is Agent Orange victims. Let me, let me just show you some effects of what is still happening, what is still around from Agent Orange. That's still happening to this day. There are kids that are being born with disabilities because of this horrible chemical. And you know what? Those people aren't receiving any help. They, they really aren't. Unless there's some smaller nonprofits that are helping them. They're not getting help from the government. They're not getting any of that. And now, because of it, they have to live their entire lives because, because of that. And you're gonna, again, donate money to save a building that literally does not matter. Material things do not matter. They don't, okay? You may, no you may notice that I filmed this video standing. That's how angry I am. If I filmed this sitting, I would not be able to film this because I have energy from being angry about this. They've raised over a billion dollars to be able to, you know, rebuild this wonderful building, you know? And you know how much it would take to end world hunger for one year? It would take $30 billion. $30 billion. World hunger. Everybody in the world would not have to worry about, oh my god, how am I gonna, what am I gonna eat? I'm gonna guarantee that at least most of the people that are watching this video right now are like me, where you don't really have to worry about what you're gonna eat next because you're privileged in a sense. Like me, I, I'm the same way. I don't think about it that often and I need to think about it more, at least for other people to help them in that aspect. You wanna see what they're eating? You wanna see what people are eating because they don't have food? Here, have some more pictures. Can you imagine eating mud, a mud pie, because you don't have food and there's no way for you to get food? It's disgusting. And people still just slide it off to the side. Oh, that's not in the news right now. We, we don't need to worry about that at all. But you know what's really important? <laughs> wow, let me tell you, <laughs> it's this thing called Notre Dame. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> the top of it kind of caught on fire. Not the whole thing, mind you, just part of it. Let's donate a billion dollars towards it. That doesn't make sense. And honestly, to anybody that donated to Notre Dame to fix it, it's good that you want to help, but honestly, f you for not thinking of other places that need money more than a f building. A building, a material thing that does not live or breathe, that does not need anything at all. It doesn't need anything. It's just a building. Material things don't matter. I don't know how I'm gonna get this through somebody's thick head, but like, you guys really need to understand where I'm coming from with this. I'm not mad at people for donating. That's not the problem. I'm proud of them that they wanna help. The problem is they're not helping in the right ways. They're not helping the right things. Hey Siri, how many kids are living on the streets in America? There are 2.5 million children in America that are homeless. 2.5 million kids that are homeless 
in America and nothing. Nobody donated towards that. Let's buy some bricks for a French building, okay? It's disgusting. And it's honestly sickening to me that people don't see a problem with it. And there's no recognition of the fact that there are so many other things that you could donate your time, your money to, and help so many more people than a building that tourists from all over the world come to see. Because in the end, what actually matters? A building? Or living, breathing things? I'll let you decide that one.